Mr. Smiggs was a gentleman, and he lived in London town. His wife, she was a good, kind soul, and seldom known to frown. Twas on Christmas Eve, and Smiggs and his wife lay cosy in bed, when the thought of buying a goose came into his head. So the next morning, just as the sun rose, he jumped out of bed and he donned his clothes, saying, Peggy, my dear, you need not frown, for I'll buy you the best goose in all London town. So away to the poultry shop he goes and bought the goose, as he did propose, and for it he paid one crown, the finest, he thought, in London town. When Smiggs bought the goose, he suspected no harm, but a naughty boy stole it from under his arm. Then Smiggs he cried, Stop, thief! Come back with my goose! But the naughty boy laughed at him and gave him much abuse. But a policeman captured the naughty boy and gave the goose to Smiggs and said he was greatly bothered by a set of juvenile prigs. So the naughty boy was put in prison for stealing the goose and got ten days' confinement before he got loose. So Smiggs ran home to his dear Peggy, saying, Hurry and get this fat goose ready, that I have bought for one crown. So, my darling, you need not frown. Dear Mr. Smiggs, I will not frown. I'm sure tis cheap for one crown, especially at Christmas time. Oh, Mr. Smiggs, it's really fine. Peggy, it is Christmas time. So let us drive dull care away, for we have got a Christmas goose, so cook it well, I pray. No matter how the poor are clothed, or if they starve at home, we'll drink our wine and eat our goose, aye, and pick it to the bone.